recording transactions on your checking account. Most important thing that you're doing, right? Because if you don't do it, you can incur an overdraft fee and that costs you money. First and foremost, what you wanna do is allow time for checks to clear. You get your statement, you see that a check hasn't cleared, you still can't use that money. Chances are that person's holding onto that check and just hasn't cashed it yet. If you write me a check and then I wait, and when I do go cash the check, you don't have no money in your bank. What happens? It becomes a rubber check and it bounces, right? So I don't get my money? You don't get your money, and even worse, you get charged a fee from your bank because it's going to be a return check. Your bank is going to charge you about $15 for depositing money into that bank that was no good. So I get a $30 overdraft fee and he gets a return deposit item fee because he deposited that check and my bank says, nope, there's no money in there. You're going to have to take this back. Um, can't you go to jail for that? Yes, you absolutely can. It is illegal to write checks on money that you don't have. It's called check kiting or it's called check fraud. Keep up on your records. If you fall behind, this is not gonna match what the statement should be, right? And now you may think that you have extra money in your account that you don't have. And again, now you start to incur the overdrafts. All right, so this is what you enter in the check register, right? This is what it's gonna end up looking like here. So you always wanna put the date of the transaction, an explanation of the payment, and then you're gonna put the payment amount. You're gonna move this payment amount over here and subtract it from the balance. So you start with your balance up here, put in the $50 that you just spent, and then this is your new balance. On the flip side, if you've got a deposit, again, put the date, write down the deposit, payroll. Go ahead and put the deposit amount over here, put in this line, add it into the balance. This now again becomes your balance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the handout that you guys have here. And what I'm gonna have you guys do is start off, for these purposes, when you open up the checking account with a $200 cash, you see where it says balance up on the top in the upper right hand corner of the check register? Put the $200 there right away and then start from there down on the expenses. And if you guys have any questions during this time, just please raise your hand and I'll come on over by you. All right, we're gonna go on ahead and go through the example here. And you guys, if you didn't finish, you can just go through the line items and see if what you guys have right now matches. Your ending register balance should be $269.95. That's what I got. Jeez. That's what you got? Yeah. Who else got that number? Uh, Nicely done, no overdraft fees here. So here we look at a, a, a monthly statement. This is exactly what you guys just did on the register. This is what your monthly statement's going to look like. So your statement is showing you that you have a balance of $304.95. But for those of you guys that finish it and had the number, what should the number be? What's missing? Gas. gas. Chances are that gas purchase happened during the statement cutoff period. So it's not going to be on this one. It's going to be on the next statement, right? So how do you balance that? Two different ways. You can either take what hasn't cleared on your check register and add it or subtract it from this total. The other option is that we can take our register balance and whatever hasn't been added or subtracted to reverse that. So where that's a negative coming out of the account, you take your balance and add the two, the $35 back on, and now you've got the $304.95. So either way that you do that is, is completely your preference, but that's how you balance um, off of your statement, okay? Yeah? So if it's going to show on this one, you said it's showing on the next one. It should show on your next one, yep. 